Hello and welcome to In My Element. This physics lesson is on energy transfers. You experience energy transfers all the time in many different situations. And what we want you to be able to do is recognise those energy transfers and the stores that they occur between. So if you look at these pictures here, by the end of this lesson, we're going to be able to describe the energy transfers that have taken place and saying which stores are involved. It's really important that you're able to recognise these in different situations. So to understand this, you need to know that there are four main types of energy transfer. So one is heating. So when you heat an object, that thermal energy is transferred by either conduction or radiation. Now, don't worry at this point if you're not sure on what conduction or radiation mean. In a later lesson, we are looking at those. So you can either just make a note of those two words or just hang fire until we get to that topic. Um, the second one is mechanically. So this occurs when a force is involved. Transferring energy between two stores involving a force. This is quite a common one. Then electrically, um, when using electricity is transferred, say, from a chemical store to a kinetic energy store. And this might happen within a motor, for example. And then light and sound. Some people find this one a little bit tricky to understand. The light and sound energy transfer occurs when the light or sound waves carry energy between two places. So what we need to be able to do is recognise these within um, images that we're shown. So we've got a really simple, silly one here of these people in a car and there's lots of objects there. What you need to know is where the stores are and what the transfer is that occurs between them. So for example, let's go for an obvious one and look at, say, the fuel that would be hidden in the um, petrol or diesel tank in the car. Now, that is a chemical energy store. OK, the um, the energy is transferred from the chemical energy store by heating to the kinetic energy store because the car then moves forward. And we know that we call kinetic energy sometimes movement energy. OK, then another example would be um, energy being transferred from the kinetic energy store as we're moving and then this driver here placing their feet on the brakes, okay, so that there is friction, um, which means mechanically the energy is transferred to thermal energy store of the brakes, because obviously when those brakes rub together, they get hot. Right, there's also um, an energy transfer of a light. Now, there's a chemical energy store being transferred to use the lights, okay, electrically, and then the light you can see, obviously, from the car. Another one to look at here would be gravitational potential energy. Uh, these two, three objects here, the cap, the glasses, and the shoe, have the potential to fall. So that is transferred mechanically, it's a fort where they've been thrown and then they're falling to the floor so that is transferred to kinetic energy all right remember if you're on your second watch of this you should be filling in the worksheet that accompanies it if you can see any others obviously um, jot them down now these are some sort of examples that you might be also given um, to look at and again, identify the energy store, the transfer and the store. So we've got some food being cooked. OK, there is um, thermal energy here that is transferred by heating to chemical energy in the food. Then on the tennis player, uh, we could say we've got gravitational potential energy on our tennis ball up here. That is transferred mechanically to kinetic energy when that tennis player whacks that tennis ball to go over that net. Then in our catapult, um, we've, got a, we've got an elastic band here, so we should be recognising straight away that there's elastic potential energy. And that is going to be transferred mechanically when this child here pulls this catapult back. When they let go of that catapult, 
the mechanic mechanically the energy is transferred to kinetic energy store where it moves right in the fan so chemical energy being transferred electrically to the fan and then we've got kinetic energy of the fan the um, motor in the fan so we've got chemical energy there I'd say that's going to be transferred mechanically to thermal energy in the child's body okay and then digestion is going to take place and there's other energy transfers that will happen there